Russian tank losses in Ukraine are about to reach 2,000, according to the Oryx Intelligence blog that tracks equipment losses suffered by Russian forces since the beginning of the Russo-Ukrainian War. So it's no wonder, and actually not unexpected, that older tanks are an increasingly common sight in Ukraine. Although Russia still has a small number of decent tanks such as the T-90M or the T-80BVM, completely outdated tanks like the T-62 or early variants of the T-72 still have a role on the battlefield. In this video, we listed the top 5 worst Russian tanks lost in Ukraine so far. Let's get started. Number 5 is the T-64BV. As the most modern tank designed of the late 1960s and early 1970s, the T-64 was a departure from the Soviet pension for simple armored vehicle designs, such as the T-54, T-55, and T-62. For instance, the T-64 was the first Soviet tank to replace human loaders with mechanical autoloaders, reducing the crew from 4 to 3. Its second trend-setting innovation was the introduction of composite armor, which layered ceramics and steel together to provide superior resistance compared to only steel. The T-64B is basically the T-64B with add-on explosive reactive armor. It uses the same 700 brake horsepower engine as the T-64B, but is over 3 tons heavier. It gives it a very poor power-to-weight ratio, comparable with the T-3485, only 16.5 horsepower per ton. The only T-64BV's advantage over T-72A and AV is that its 2A 46M1 125mm smoothbore cannon can fire the 9K112 Cobra anti-tank guided missiles. It can be used to engage armored vehicles at a maximum distance of 4 kilometers and can penetrate between 600 to 700 millimeters of steel armor. However, the T-64 began to become obsolete in the late 80s. Not as much as now, but still. The main Achilles heel is the suspension. It was counted on a vehicle weighing no more than 45 tons. During development, designers tried to reduce the mass of the tank as much as possible. That's why the T-64 was deprived of the lion's share of the modernized potential. The T-64 BVs fitted with the Contact-1 reactive explosive armor. But together with its weak main armor, it offers almost no protection against a modern anti-tank munition. Together with a poor engine and suspension, it's a very obsolete tank by today's standards. Due to the fact that the T-64 tanks are produced only in Ukraine, the Russians after the collapse of the USSR were forced to constantly withdraw these machines from service. At the time of making this video, they lost at least 48 of them. Number 4 is the T-62M Model 2022. The first T-62s entered service in the Soviet Union in 1961. Although in some ways it's a further development of the T-55, the T-62 was revolutionary. It was the first tank in the world to be armed with a smoothbore gun, namely the 2A-20 115mm gun. It means that at the time of its introduction, the T-62 was able to deal with every tank in the world, even at long ranges. Nowadays, the situation's completely different because it's completely obsolete and doesn't provide the firepower, protection, and situational awareness, which would be similar to, for example, the T-72B. That's why originally in Russia, the T-62s were withdrawn from service after the 2008 Russo-Georgian War and meant to be scrapped. However, because of the significant losses of modern equipment during the conflict in Ukraine, Russia was forced to bring to the table these obsolete vehicles, and the T-62M Model 2022 is a modernization, which tries to bring its capabilities somewhat to modern standards. The main improvement to the tank is an integration of the 1PN 96MT-02 thermal sight for the gunner, which still provides far greater situational awareness than baseline T-62Ms, MVs, or the large majority of tanks in Ukrainian service. Overall, Russia plans to modernize up to 800 of these vehicles, but because of the losses of T-62s in Ukraine already piling up, it could be impossible. At the time of making this video, Russia lost at least two T-62Ms model 2022. Number 3 is the T-72AV. 
Formidable in the mid-1980s, it's a coffin on tracks today. The tank lacks a modern fire control system and has a weak engine that provides a power-to-weight ratio at the level of World War II-era T-34. Its weak basic armor combined with the first-generation Contact-1 explosive reactive armor offers little protection against modern APFSDS projectiles or modern anti-tank guided missiles. In addition, while the autoloader in newer Russian tanks has been additionally armored, so after hitting the tank there's less chance for a spectacular explosion that throws the turret several meters up, in the oldest variants of the T-72 this effect is still easy to achieve. To make it worse, Russia also fields in Ukraine the variant of this tank, which was not originally fitted with the Contact-1 explosive reactive armor, namely the T-72A. As you might expect, it doesn't improve the survivability of this vehicle. That's why the Russian soldiers try to up-armor them whenever possible, using the aforementioned Contact-1. At the time of making this video, Russia lost at least 9 T-72AVs and 38 T-72As. Number 2 is the T-62M. The T-62M is an extensively upgraded variant of the standard T-62, which entered service in 1983. The tank was equipped with, among others, a new Volna fire control system, an improved engine developing 620 horsepower, and a new armor package, which at least at the front improves its protection to nearly as good as in the early variants of T-72. The distinctive feature of the T-62M is add-on armor at the front of the turret. Interestingly, this additional armor sometimes mockingly called Brezhnev's eyebrows. The Russians also use in Ukraine the other variant of this tank, namely the T-62MV, which was adopted in 1985. It's basically identical to the T-62M, but instead of add-on armor, it's equipped with Contact-1 ERA. Both T-62Ms and MVs are currently modernized to the T-62M model 2022 standard. At the time of making this video, Russia lost at least 53 T-62Ms and 13 T-62MVs. Number 1 is the T-62 model 1967. It's a slightly modified variant of the original T-62 which was introduced in 1961. The changes include a modification of the engine deck, which made preparations to cross water obstacles a bit easier for the crew. Interestingly, the T-62 is currently the fifth most produced tank in history. Overall, only in the USSR from 1961 to 1973, 19,651 T-62s have been produced. Although nowadays completely obsolete, the T-62 model 1967 can still be useful for infantry support, rather than to engage other tanks. Overall, it seems that tank duels are very rare in Ukraine anyway. At the time of making this video, Russia lost in Ukraine at least one T-62 model 1967. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share! Also, visit my second channel with military power comparisons. See you next time!